By the way, if you are listening to this podcast, it is because of Anchor.fm. Anchor is a free app in the App Store for any mobile device. There's also an app on the computer and a web interface, and it lets you record your podcast right there on that device. You don't have to use like sophisticated Pro Tools or Logic or a mixer board or any of that fun stuff. You just hit a button and you talk about what you want to talk about. I like it. I like it too. It's really exciting because you can make a podcast and it distributes it to like 12 or 15 different podcast services all at once on their end. You don't actually have to like go submit it to iTunes or something like that. That is super convenient. It is super convenient. It's great. And you can do sponsorships. So you can do like little promotional commercial type stuff and then they give you some money. Yeah. Which money is nice. It gets things and stuff. Correct. Yeah. Highlights. Free app. Easy distribution. Instantly record. Done. Yeah. Anyway, back to what we were talking about. I'm off on Mondays and Tuesdays now. I work every day, but none of my job is consequential. Oh, so we are recording this thing. Yeah, this is the dance car cast. Loose definition of work, really. Yeah, I take up space for a wage <laughs> over a period of time. I deal with other people that waste space <laughs> for money. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you say you work with people that waste that are a waste of space? Oh yeah, all of them. <laughs> Literally every single one of them. Every, every one of them. They're using up all the oxygen. Like, do you know how much corn I could put in the space that you're taking up? <laughs> like, like, like several bushels. <laughs> yeah, since we're recording, I'm joking. Nobody's a waste of space, but. That's not true. There are definitely people that are a waste of space. He's just not directly talking to any of them. A lot of people that could just use up less space. Yeah. (laughs) If I lost some weight, I might lose some Have you thought about being more compact? Especially when you're talking about office space. Those those people are using up spaces that could have been apartment buildings. As I came home from work today, they were having a funeral in that graveyard. Yeah. And I thought for sure that that was against the rules right now. No, you can do funerals, do. but um, for the ceremonies, you can only have, like, two immediate family members or something. There's, like, 16 people standing around that hole yeah. in the ground. Is that work? They yeah, started screaming funerals again. Rules are meant to be broken. <laughs> it's yeah. like, you know, like, I'm, I'm just one of those, uh, you know, funeral crashers. <laughs> you're about to pass. Yeah, I'm just here to pick up chicks. Left or right? I'm just here for the little... Let's go right. And, uh, but China walks out. For the grieving widows. What's, oh, well, well, it's closed on the inside still, <laughs> isn't it? Oh, they're not doing carry out? Oh, they're doing carry out. Okay. But where are we going to carry it? You, I don't know. When you can sneak in. Corey and I already ate. We had oh. a bunch of rice for lunch. Oh. We spent probably $4 yeah. on that. I did that. not eat. I'm That's why I asked rice. you. Uh, I was going to say, I'm already eating. Too. That's why I asked you if you wanted to get lunch, because yeah. I haven't. I mean, I'm, I'm cool with hanging out with you while you get lunch. Okay, I got you. You know what's really good? <laughs> These yeah. hot dogs at Quick Trip. Nope. Now that they're not doing them on the roller, they cook them in the oven. Oh, they're even better. Really? I actually like their jalapeno yeah. cheddar dogs that you're doing. It's pretty decent. But wherever you go, I'll probably get a drink. Gotcha. Because right now my mouth is full of caramel and chocolate. So I don't know how the hell that sign ended up here. That's usually how my mouth is, you know. Airport drivers? No. Oh. A sign from the church I work at. They got all these signs and had people decorate them and put outside of hospitals and stuff. And I guess somebody thought a quick trip was a urgent care. I don't know. Yeah, no, I get that. <laughs> it's a necessary, necessary. It help, is. I'm dying. Oh, yeah. Gas. <laughs> we'll pump you full of E85. Yay. Is that like the, the 99 mask or something? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a higher octane than what I use on my mask. What gas does your car take? <laughs> N95? Just sniffing that. <laughs> yeah. mm, that's good. Essential. It is essential. <laughs> Where was we going to get our power? Actually, I see people walking around in there. Using the playground. Actually, are they climbing? Trying to climb up the wall. It looks like they're doing maintenance on that tower. Okay. Yeah. That's not kids. That's good. No, it's adults. <laughs> like, There's a truck with a bunch of lumber sticking out of it. Like, lumber truck is usually not kids. Lumber trucker. Well, what are we doing? It feels like we're getting ready to go south down North Oak, which is weird, but it makes sense at some point. It's like the only thing to do. Yeah. Ooh. That's what my brakes sound like all the time. Mine are good. They just squeal sometimes. <laughs> they just let out inter- extra energy. They're like, I'm stopping so good. Whee! Yeah. I'm a dolphin. I'm a dolphin. Ah! <laughs> wow. Yeah. Teamwork. A 
apparently there is an international shortage on pipe cleaners right now. Well, that's because everyone's smoking their pipes. Right. <laughs> is Head Rush doing drive through Uh, yes. Yes, they are. Till Could 3 o'clock in the afternoon. For real? Yep. You guys want coffee? I could probably handle a coffee. Mm. I don't need one, but I'll take one if we go there. Just, you know. Corey, do you like coffee? I like, uh, cold ones like frappuccinos. Oh. They got those. They do have cold coffee. So then there we go. And then I... we can go to Wasahi. Yeah, I know. And Japanese steak. Only time I've ever been there was with you. I don't remember going there. Was that fun? Yeah, I wouldn't like with your niece or something. I just came back from LA and you picked me up from the airport. Oh, nice. That sounds like fun and adventure. Well. Hey, coffee shop. Speaking of adventure. Can we go through we here? Nope, around oh. the building. Yeah, we can't go through there. There's just <laughs> half an arrow. So made a new there's drive. a bar there. Oh, boom. Yeah. Oh, well, it's like lining up with a shadow. Hey, welcome. How do you show your feet today? Hey, uh, What's I might need said? a minute, but we're going to need, uh, <laughs> what is it? Uh, iced caramel latte. Small. One iced caramel latte. And what size would you like that? Small. Small. And a medium cold brew with light ice. Sounds great. What else can I get for you? Anybody else? Anybody else? What's the alert? What's the ones that I like? Um, Just a second. You want a blended caramel chocolate? Maybe. Sounds good. Yeah. I don't know what that's called here. A small blended chocolate rush. Yeah, that's what he wants. Yeah, um, and a small blended chocolate rush. Ben? I'm good. Ben's good. And that's a it. small blended chocolate rush. Yeah. Anything yeah. else for you today? Uh, that's it. You want a water, Ben? All right, perfect. That's 1060 for you. Oh, thank you. I just drank a big thing of Gatorade. Seventy nine sixty. Yeah. Wow. Well, seven hundred ninety six point zero dollars. Dang. Oh wait, this is breaking Oh, he's got us, Corey. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Oh, you know, just like driving in circles. <laughs> Do not throw away money. Circles. <laughs> Found a bunch of losers in a parking lot and picked them all up. <laughs> That's not true. I appreciate that. We were in a parking lot. <laughs> it's true. You know your car is essential. Really? Can I bring my parkour sign and sharpie? No. Oh, I love the I love the little roaster. I've got some cool slow motion videos of it. He's <laughs> like, where do they all get the sharpie? <laughs> Leave your like sleeping bag. Leave your sleeping bag. You can't get your lunch off the Sharpie buddy. <laughs> We're still recording. It's an investment. It's fun. That's true. What if you make a dollar fifty after several hours of you know half holding the sign on the Sharpie that you actually paid two bucks for? Well, then you're operating at what's called a deficit. But you can write it off on your taxes, right? Sharpie, it's true. If you do your taxes. That's right. <laughs> Maybe the red one will work better. And more investment, more payoff, right? No. Maybe, Maybe it's more cardboard. Smart. Yeah, you buy a $5 investment? cardboard box. Huh? <laughs> Investing in sports. <laughs> you're like, sports. Um, so what are you up to today? Yeah, no, they have crazy no working? Not on Mondays or Tuesdays. Got a, Is it Monday today? Isn't it? I don't know. Yeah. It's rough. It I got a chiropractor appointment day tonight day at 5 30. Nice. And then, um, Whacked out on my back Friday. shoulder doing some and yard work the other day. County Friday, yeah. I'll actually have like 10 days. Like a uh, hoe in? Yeah. I had like a month and a half. Hoe in, raking, raking in the hoes. Raking in the hoes. <laughs> 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 I'd be walking on 10 6 Good next morning, next sir. It was like this. After a while. It's like, um, okay, you like that huge muscle for Afternoon, <laughs> sir. As I've been made aware. <laughs> so back me up. Look, I can you. push up now. <laughs> I've gotten so far in Zelda. Not even He's not kidding at all. <laughs> He's uh, defeated three of the Whatchamma thingies. What are the thingies? The, the yeah, divine ancient, beast? Yeah, divine beast, ancient beast. I don't know. Corey's been playing the Breath of the Wild like it's the only thing that's important in life. Sadly, right oh, now it I, is. I beat a game <laughs> of uh, some kind of football game. 
I had to go. The way it works is you have to. You, you're a coach of a team, and you have to like. You, you, uh, if you do That's well, yours. then you can actually. Yay! You know, I'm so excited. I can team, barely hide it. Different team until you get to your favorite team. <laughs> So you told me your favorite team at the beginning. And you're like, yeah, nice. we're not going to let you do that for five years. Hi! Right. So you have to go through five, four seasons yes. before you can do five Thank years. you, sir. How did you know it was his? You have to win. How did you know it was his? That's always what he gets. I know. Almost always. <laughs> Sometimes I get water or tea. That's true. Sometimes you do get tea. It's true. I've but done it's that. it's usually that. Too. Yeah. I like it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them was cool. I know. I like it. I like it. Yeah, we figured that out. Oh, Canada. Oh, our nice. home and native land. Should I let's know Canada now? I was like, uh, yay! yay. I think so. It's been a long time. Yeah. I love it that they're in the, uh, they're in the truck. Thank you. Going cross country. Oh, perfect. Canada. Thank you. And, um, Bye, guys. Bye, Adam. Have a great day. <laughs> you too. Yeah, because records are kind of heavy. You know? Corey, I got online yesterday the day before because now we have a record player. Sure. And I found out that for about 30 bucks, I can buy Third Eye Blind's first album on vinyl. <laughs> I think I'm probably gonna have to do that. Or should I wait and let that be a Christmas or a birthday present for someone to buy me? Is that outside of the adult birthday wait. present budget? I ain't buying you no freaking <laughs> gift. Okay. I'm joking. Maybe I would. I'm gonna make a like a wedding registry for my birthday. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Birthday registries. This should be a thing. I would do whatever I saw on the registry. I do the opposite. Uh, I just moved out of my mom's house registry. What? I just moved out of my mom's house registry. Oh, I love it. It's great. It's a, Yeah, that's... Uh, no, that's great. No, that's literally what it is, right? Yeah. Oh, man. I had such an exciting, fun fight with my mom yesterday. Corey was there, so every time I told him my mom's crazy, now he knows for sure. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> True story. Somehow, she got four metal chairs out of the back of my van in her wheelchair. I was really impressed, actually. Crap. I'm like, how did you... No, no, can't stop to be impressed. Got to be mad. The doctor put her back on the steroids? I guess. <laughs> I was uh, just on my phone checking email. I was like, what the heck is she doing back there? And then she came around the corner with tears. I was like, okay. So what all happened? <laughs> like, get, give us the rundown here. Uh, that so, was a frozen custard, please. So Corey got all the stuff in the van, and, uh, and I went inside time. to ask my mother what time her doctor's appointment for today was. And instead of telling me the answer to that question, she started yelling at me about the thousands and thousands of dollars that she thinks that I owe her for living there. And then I told her, well, I just came to get the patio, the table off the patio, to which she started to yell, no, you can't have it, it's mine. And to which I reminded her that it was mine because I had gotten well, it from the coffee shop I helped for you free. With them. And it was technically garbage. Actually, I should get part of that. Yeah, you should probably because get Because I helped put together half of it. You're welcome to go grab all of it while she's not looking. If you don't talk to her, she won't know it's gone for a month. Probably still in the front yard. Yeah. Because she got to that side of the driveway and just dumped it. Yep. Maybe we'll just swing back by this afternoon and grab it. For where? There are a lot more buildings up there than the last time. Yeah. Yeah, they built like a strip mall here. <laughs> well, the kingdom of God's shrinking back and the kingdom yeah. of this world. The kingdom of God is advancing the other direction. <laughs> I think the last time I was out here was when oh, we used to play this. rugby out in the field. That building's huge. Yeah. We used to play church softball. That out field's here. still there, it's just on the other side. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I used to go to school here. Now, I guess. That building wasn't there at the time. They started building that after I left and finished it a year ago. A Panda Basically. Express. <laughs> I've only been in that building once, and it was because uh, Bob Blank invited me to some event that they were having. Nice. I don't remember what it was, but I know that uh, the guy with the lisp was the one talking. Hey, yeah, this one's way better than Wendy's. What's that guy's name? Uh, he was the, the president of the Southern Baptist Convention at the time. Oh. He's written a couple books. Yeah. Tall, muscly guy with a funny haircut. That's all of them. I mean, in the Baptist leadership. Oh. Under the age of 50. Well, I mean, you see that in the Baptist right churches. They don't call themselves Baptist. They don't? The hipster Baptist churches. Oh. Yeah, they're like they try non-denominational. To hide. They're just so-so church. Or they yeah. try to hide it. Yeah. It's like you can tell when you get to the business meeting. Ben, what's that guy's name? <laughs> 
We'll make it up for it. Uh, sorry, who? You know that guy's name, right? The guy that at least two or three years ago was president of the Southern Baptist Convention. He's a younger guy. He's written a bunch of books. He's one of those guys with, like, with the name like Chad or something. Uh, Matt, Luke, Dave. If you're like Matthew, it, Mark, Luke, John. John, like that's that. it. No, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, I just can't remember his name. He wrote a bunch of books. That's, that's it. That's okay. it. Was totally so, J.D. Greer is the current one. That's Steve that. Gaines before that. Maybe he was Ronnie not Floyd. the president. Maybe he Ronnie was Floyd. in some other office, but he was in an office. But Ronnie the... Floyd's older. Ronnie Floyd. Yeah, Floyd. yeah. I'm just reading the recent. Yeah. What is his name? Oh, Ronnie Floyd used to be a Patrick out of Chuck? What books do you write? I don't know. I never read any of his books. Maybe he was like the uh, Sunday, right, sure Sunday school director or missions director or one of those things. You sure it was Southern Baptist? Yeah. Okay. Because he was the keynote speaker at this. Huh. And he worked for the Southern Baptist Convention as one of their directors. Huh. I mean, you hear his name, you'll immediately recognize it. I just can't place it. One guy I'm thinking that fits that, but I don't think he was Southern Baptist. Oh, um, I think I know who you're talking about. He wrote some outreach type books. Yep. And um, like, you know, what's wrong with the church type books? <laughs> yep. Yeah, he totally did that. All those things that you just said. Oh, yes. Uh, David Platt? Yep, that that's the guy. Okay, I thought, I didn't, I thought it was like an independent <laughs> Show fundamentalist. Show him a picture, you'll know what I'm uh, talking about. But he is Southern Baptist. Yeah. So I met him. He their church hosted a church IT conference that we did. The it conference. But he wrote uh, Radical. Yeah, that's that what was it, his big one. She's got like three of those in a series. Church name is McLean Bible Church, so there's not Baptist in it. But I knew they were fundamental, so I thought McLean, like the guy from. This is the name of the town, yes. or that's the name of the neighborhood. Uh, like, so that's why I thought they were like some other kind of independent fundamentalist or something. Yippee ki yay, hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. So good. Oh, my engines. I need a gallon of milk. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> we're not uh, quite there yet. We're not quite there yet. <laughs> there we go. I can barely, uh, barely hear you. <laughs> no, right. um, milk. no problem. I'll do the... Brown sugar bacon roast beef sandwich, please. White cheddar mac right. and cheese. Hardcore. Yeah, that's it. One brown sugar bacon roast beef sandwich. Your total comes to 612, please. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Did you go here because this is better food or because Panda Express is hard to eat when you're driving? That's mostly it. This <laughs> <laughs> is a cup of rice. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you started looking like Cookie Monster all dribbling out. <laughs> I don't know. Me like rice. <laughs> Audio's for rice. Yeah. What are you looking at, truck? I'm not afraid of you. Sorry, what? Sorry, that Mitsubishi truck was staring me down. Yeah, I, I saw the look in its headlights. <laughs> I was about to get out and just like, let's throw down. <laughs> what? 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 Well. They don't even have a car. Is it really 79 degrees out? Restaurants. Yeah. Man, it's like, it's like summer. Just on a huge so I finally like cleaned up my up like, whole yard you know, yesterday. Washed nice. Down shirt that just got Did you burn a bunch of leaves? Soy sauce steak. Nice. Lots of it. Yeah, you don't Swept, that scrub. You know, that sets in, so. <laughs> nice. Going to have a big party by yourself? Yeah. <gasps> People uh, came over for dinner last night, but. What? Well, it's been kind of weird. So normally our streaming would be about four thousand on a weekend, and now we're hitting a little over thirty. Dang! On an average weekend. But your actual like in in church attendance is like zero, right? Absolutely zero. So it kind of levels out. Well, so our our <laughs> like numbers now are zero. double what we had before yeah. on an average Sunday. That's awesome. So they're like quadruple what you had on. Yep. Six twelve. Are you any extra sauce for today? Uh, horseradish and uh, sweet pepper. The uh, three pepper. All right, thanks. Not that three no. Put that on um, steak sandwich. But Easter we had fifty thousand online, and then another fifty thousand watching on TV because they broadcast on like NBC or something. That's cool. 
I, I understand that at the vineyard the numbers have gone way up too. But I don't know all the details. Yeah, that's a lot of places are kind of going up too. And a lot of it you have to be really careful with how you count it because it's easy to look at the raw numbers and say you have five times, but yeah, like I'm just pulling to a bargain spot and eat if you want to. Yeah, that'll work. We're in a car and be okay. See, every restaurant has just become a drive in. It's like Sonic's gotten ripped off. Yeah. yeah, they've been doing it for years and now nobody cares. Like Chick fil A, they'll deliver your parking spot now, so you order on the app and you tell them where you're parked. Where, where are you parked? At the movie theater? Well, because they put numbers everywhere, so you just say, like, slot 10 or whatever. Roll off the red asshole. Has Glenda started a Chick-fil-A in Texas yet? Because I know she was talking about it for years. I don't know. I don't know. Really here, I don't know. There are anywhere. in Texas. I had one in Waterford, Texas. That's probably not the part of Texas she's in. She's in Garland. I was down there. Where Frank Hill lives? So what's Garland on the side of? <laughs> That's garnish. Oh, no, sorry. It's a, it's a Garland is thing. gone. Oh, so yeah, Christmas. Say, yeah, Garland. Yeah. Uh, Garland. It's wrapped right you around Flagstaff. Get it? Uh, get it? Uh, uh -huh. get the car on the, the roof of the house. The Guys, good news. Vivian Oaks is now leasing. Um, what? But that, that flag actually looks pretty tattered and old so they might have been leasing for oh, it's been there for decades they've been leasing <laughs> since it's, before it they were Vivian be, Oaks it used to be like <laughs> brown and now it's yellow yeah talking about uh, most boxers after their career goes downhill no if you set them out in the sun they, they bleach yes. that's true we can add some peroxide this area's changed a lot yeah she decided there was too much bacon on there. No, that one just kind of fell out. <laughs> I'm saving that one for later. <laughs> I like the tater there. tot thing. Part of Napoleon Dynamite when he shoves a big wad of tater tots in his pocket. Yeah, the and then the guy punches him. Yeah, punches him right in the tater tots. Oh, right yeah. in the tater tots. I hate when I get punched tots. in the tots. Oh, God. What's funny is he's fighting over the tots. He actually wanted Hey, Napoleon, give me some of your tots. <laughs> like... They've been in my pocket with my chapstick <laughs> and some bubble gum and tissues I used. I, I'm not saying that they were less concerned with <laughs> germs back then, but they didn't know they existed probably. The reason I have not contracted the coronavirus is because I ate dirt as a child. Huh. And I don't mean like occasionally dirt would get in my mouth and I was okay with it. I made cakes. Because <laughs> you're a baker. Yeah. We were, we were baking brownies really with our Tonka trucks in the backyard, and they were delicious. I sure if I mean bud. A connoisseur, I see. Yeah. And for a little while, I lived in Louisiana, and Cajun food has dirt in it. Mm -hmm. Like, that's the ingredient that makes it Cajun food. Everything else is for flavor. <laughs> the dirt's for authenticity. Unless, it's different. Say, unless, unless you actually like the taste of dirt, which is, you know, that's a place. We don't like the taste of dirt. That's an interesting sure. house. This is a funeral home. People die here. No, they die. They and then they come medicine. Here. This one no, here. people have died. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that was meant to make you think you're crazy. Is it weird or is there just a giant spire on the top of this little bit of house? <laughs> just a little bit of both. Man, there's a lot of something going on here. On a septic I hope it's constructive. Me too. It'd be weird to I put all those cones up for no reason. A construction worker gets constructive criticism. That's the thing. Yeah. It's something you don't do. Yeah, construction criti criticism. It's like you're not constructing this correctly. Constructionism. <laughs> so, after years of not playing the Super Nintendo my brother Eric and I had, we decided to give it to our younger brothers. Corey, JC, and Jimmy for Christmas one year. My mom still brings it up how mad she is that we did that. Really? Yeah. Like, <laughs> as in, like, a week or two ago, she was Was she wanting to play it? Or was she wanting to play I grew up in this house. Is that the one where Which the bathtub that? fell through? Yes, it is. Really? The hot tub bathtub fell through no the way. ceiling into the dining room table. Uh, that's awesome. Wow. Yep. That seems like a scene out of... Uh, and that guy has owned that truck Out of Breaking Bad or something. Dude. I've been watching a lot of anime today. It's... It's killing me. Brenda! I have to tell
time my shot very meticulously or everyone will die. I'm going to say this five more times before I shoot. You can't have a flashback. <laughs> a flashback. When I was a young boy living in Amsterdam, I learned to time my shots. What? You have a place right here? Uh, it's like right sign. there where that sign is. That right. sign? This is Ben's favorite place. It's it's this place, then Disneyland. It used to be a bait shop. Actually, it still is sort of a bait shop. Pizza by the slide. It's open. Oh gosh. Supermarket pricing. I don't know what that means. It's like I've had to pay like six dollars for a chicken nugget. I'm so happy this place is open. Horse! Oh, oh <laughs>